Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Meg and if you're new here, welcome. So as you can tell, I am sick. <laughs> I have been sick so many times this summer and this fall, all due to kids going to school. So I am hosting the Halloween challenge this year and I am so excited to see everybody's videos and see what pieces they pick for their challenge. This is my piece. It is an old antique vanity and it comes with a mirror that goes in the middle which I will um, attach later on and I am keeping it with the piece. So I wanted to sand the top two surfaces and the middle surface so I could stain them and bring out that beautiful wood grain. As you saw in the previous clip, I will be keeping the original hardware and also this piece has um, a piece at the back there that you can see and I do take I, I do take that off and end up sanding that as well and sanding it uh, staining it and um, putting it back on because I had shown you the two poles that hold the mirror and one of the pieces was a little bit broken but that's okay it's an older piece and that's how sometimes it goes so I took off the screws off this back panel piece so that I could sand it and then sand also right through on the middle piece so I cleaned the entire piece with my furniture prep and clean spray went over it with a bit of water to take off any excess spray and scuff sanded the entire piece as well once the top was all sanded, I got my gel stain, and this is Minwax Gel Stain in Coffee. It's a beautiful, beautiful brown. And I just used a rag to apply it. And then I also got all of the edges, making sure it was covered in that crease as well. Once all that was done, I covered up the top once it was stained with plastic painter's tape so I wouldn't get any primer or paint on this piece. I then started priming with my Kills Restoration Primer in my sprayer and I did about two coats. Now I wanted this piece in black paint. This is the all-in-one paint by Cottage Paint. And I started to spray the side panels. And this color is called Twilight. I then went to the front and sprayed the front, making sure I got all underneath the drawers and the tops. And I did about two to three coats. You can do three coats if the coverage wasn't the greatest. Um, I did mix a bit of white or gray primer in with the white primer because usually under black I use gray, but I ran out of gray so I mixed it up. So right here, as I was painting, I noticed there was a piece of trim missing right there. And I didn't notice that before, but once I was painting, I did notice it there. So I got some wood filler and started to mold the wood filler where the trim would go to look like the other pieces of trim. Now, I could have used Bondo, but I didn't have any, and I could have used clay, but I didn't have any. I only had the DAP wood filler, and I find this wood filler is like clay, and it works really well. As you can see here, it's shaped really nicely. It worked out really well. And I got a tiny, tiny little mini screwdriver that was flat on the ends and just sort of made the pattern that the trim would look like. Thank you. 
I let that dry overnight and then painted it and then on the side panels I wanted some tissue paper so I brushed clear coat which is a varnish on the surface and then placed the tissue paper on the panel this paper is called Andressa and it'll be in my link in my description with the link and then I brushed clear coat over the top of the paper to seal it here's a better view on the other side where I'm just brushing on the clear coat you can use varnish as well which I've done just making sure that that whole surface is covered with clear coat I placed the tissue paper on top and then used my X-Acto knife just to trim off the excess. My blade needs to be sharpened desperately on this knife. <laughs> and then I brushed clear, clear coat on the top. I did peel it back a little bit because I noticed some bubbles. And then once that is dry, it turns really hard and it's very durable. This is the original hardware and I'm keeping them. And I decided to spray them in a brushed bronze, I think this is, in a Rust-Oleum spray. I wanted to add a little bit of character and to this piece which are the molds and this is called amazing casting resin and the molds are by redesign of prima and I'll put those in my description and you pour bottle a into the little cup and then bottle B which is a different liquid into the other cup and then you mix them together making sure they were they are equal amounts you're then gonna stir it really well so the cloudiness goes away and it becomes clear and then you can pour it into your chosen molds making sure that the liquid goes to the top of the, the rim of the mold once they dry they turn white and hard like this and then you can pop them out of the molds very easily here I was doing it with one hand but you can see they do come out quite easily. I used a Victorian rose mold and also this gear insect mold. I then sprayed them with the Rust-Oleum bronze spray that I had used earlier for the hardware. It's like a very dark brown. And then I went over them with a little bit of paint in pink and green and then resprayed them over again. Once they were completely dried, I put super glue on the back and then put them onto the surface of the vanity. I put the dragonfly on the one side and then I put the butterfly or the moth, I think it is, on the other side and then I put the rose on the mirror at the top and then one of the leaf molds at the bottom of the mirror and I also put some of the gears on the front, as you will soon see. Make sure that you wear gloves throughout this process of making molds, even pouring the liquid because it does get stuck to your fingers. So here's a look at what this piece looked like before. That's where the mirror goes here. 
And I actually forgot that middle piece. As you can see right here, it is not on the back, but I did end up realizing and, and putting it on there. So here's what it looks like now. There's the molds on the mirror. It looks so pretty. And this piece has actually sold right away and already in its new home. I think this piece turned out really beautiful. Here are some pictures. There's the piece at the back. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please check out the entire playlist with everybody's videos in it. And I can't wait to pick a winner. Thank you again and see you next week.